Hello everyone and welcome to Dive Talk Plus. We haven't done a video about knives in a while, so I figure I'll bring back the topic because as you know, I'm pretty passionate about knives. And one of the conversations that happens once in a while is how much are knives and whether it makes sense to spend a lot of money, if you consider it to be a lot of money, for a knife, whereas a cheap knife can do the same job. So I figure I would do a video about the difference between cheap and expensive knives and why do I own either one. So let's start with some cheap knives. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep this video to like 10 minutes tops. So this first knife that I have here, this is a CRKT Minimalist. This thing is 30 bucks, $36. And what I like about it is that you can wear it as a necklace. You can just put it on, it can be under your clothes, just like this. Nobody knows that you have a knife. So I'm gonna stand up a little bit. See, you can't even tell that I have a knife. But if you need it, you just reach under your shirt and pull, and there's your knife. So it's pretty tiny. It's not a big knife by any means, but again, the vast majority of people We'll use these knives to open boxes and envelopes and little things like that, not for heavy duty work. So I actually get to carry this knife every once in a while. I enjoy carrying it. It's super secure in here. It's not gonna pop out like, look, I'm, I'm going hard for it to come out. So it's super secure. So if you like, I personally like to wear a necklace or a chain of some kind, it doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, this will be annoying, but um, it's, uh, it's super simple to carry. So once again, it comes like this. I don't know if I added this chain, to be honest. I don't remember how it came. I do have some of these chains laying around. Sometimes they come with knives. Sometimes they don't like, uh, this little thing right here, this came with one of these chains. So it's laying around somewhere. Uh, so anyway, this thing, 36 bucks. So moving on to the second cheap knife, this was the first knife I remember buying. Like I I've owned pocket knives in the past that were given to me. Like my grandpa gave me a knife and like a, a girlfriend I used to date when like I think on my 18th birthday gave me like a Swiss army knife. Like I've always been into knives. So I think my first knife my grandpa gave me when I was 13. And then again, my, my ex-girlfriend, I guess at this point gave me one when I was 18. Uh, but this one is the one that I remember buying on my, on my own. I think I bought this thing in like 2006 or 2005, I don't, I don't remember. And I bought this thing at Walmart, it was like $40. This is a Gerber Instant Knife. Like he doesn't even have a name. Most of these knife companies will give their knives a, a name, like, you know, whatever. They will, they will name it, I'll just give you an example. Bug Out is one of the knives that we're gonna look at in a second. They'll have names like that. Um, and this one is just called the instant knife. I don't even know if this is for sale anymore. You can probably buy something very similar from Gerber at Amazon, Walmart, etc. And it will work. If you look at mine, I'm going to try to get close right here. Okay. It's all beat up because I do use my knives. Both sides is all like scratched up. Come on. You see? So typically the way it works is if I'm gonna go somewhere where I know I'm going to be using my knife a lot, like I'm gonna be building something, I know I'm gonna be cutting stuff, boxes, you know, chopping on stuff, whatever, I just take my Gerber because I know I can beat this up and not feel bad about it. Not that I baby my knives, I never carry a knife, you know, and then I worry about like using it. No, like I don't care how expensive it is if I'm gonna carry it that day and something needs to be done with a knife, I'm gonna do it. Now I'm not gonna pry something with it. I'm not gonna use it as a screwdriver, but if I'm cutting something, I need to cut something, I'm not going to worry of the price of the knife. However, if I'm leaving my house, knowing that the knife that I'm going to be using today is going to be abused, I'm gonna grab something that it's been abused before, right? So this Gerber, I've owned it forever. I'm a big fan of Gerber. I know that they are probably made in China and they're cheap stuff that you can buy at Walmart, but when that's all you need, it works great. And then the last cheap knife that I'm going to be talking about is called the Bog Out. In this case, it's called the Mini Bog Out, which is this thing right here. And if you are wondering if I bought it because it's orange, yeah. That's basically why I bought it. Uh, I think that companies at this point know that if they're struggling with sales, they just make it orange and I'm gonna 
probably buy one. So this is a mini bog out. This is about 150 bucks, 153 dollars. So it's a little bit more expensive than the previous ones that we're talking about. I actually try to find other knives that I have that are under hundred dollars, and I know I have some other ones. I just don't know where they are. I think they're in the car or in my toolbox or something, but I, I know I own several knives that are under $100. I just stash them in places, you know, where I know that if I lose it, I'm not gonna worry about it. But I do have some Kershaw knives, I remember, that are probably like 20 to 30 bucks. But this is like a super nice budget-ish pocket knife. My favorite thing about this knife is how lightweight it is, even compared with the Gerber, even though the Gerber is 40 bucks, and even the CRKT, this thing is like feather light, is super light. So typically when I'm wearing shorts, for example, and I don't have a belt or anything sturdy, right, to to hang, to hang hold stuff that is heavy in my pockets, I pick up one of these. And as a matter of fact, I like it so much that it is. It's a mini bog out. It's a small knife, super nice from Benchmade. Um, I liked it so much that I bought it in green. So I'm like, you know, sometimes you're wearing like a green, like for this shirt, for example, that I'm wearing, this matches kind of the color of the shirt, so I would have I would have worn something like this, and you can see the blade is black. This one is kind of um, you know silver color, I guess. Uh, then I saw this one at a store. I think I was in Florida diving with with Woody and Mike and whatever, and I'm like, dude, that's that orange blade. I gotta have that. So I ended up buying that, and then I I ran into another orange one. That's the bug out. It's the full size. So I'm like, look, I can't just have the mini without having the full. So I ended up with with four uh, bog outs or mini bog outs in those, you know, they're all bench made and they're all about the same price, 150 to 180, 160. Now, by the way, the prices I'm giving you are the prices I'm finding online right now. These are these are not necessarily how much I paid for them. I'm pretty sure that if not all of these, three out of four. I bought like on sale. Like I just happened to be walking around by, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods or, you know, a sporting goods store or whatever. And, you know, I always, I'm always going to eye the knives and then they had it, you know, on sale or whatever. So I ended up buying it. So anyway, they are less than $200 regardless of the model that you get and depending on where you get it. But I'm pretty sure I found these on sale at some point or another, but they probably weren't lower than 150 Like for the regular bog outs because they're 180. I probably found it on sale for like 150 and I'm like, that's orange. I got to have it. So anyway, those are the cheap budget knives and these knives are great. You know, they work perfect. They are super sharp. They open whatever, whatever it is. I love these specifically because they're so lightweight. Like, I don't know how lightweight they are, like how, how much they weigh in ounces or whatever, but it's like whisper, like it's so lightweight. It's unbelievable, but they're also super sharp and, um, and useful. So anyway, those are the cheap knives. Now, when you compare that with the expensive knives, so once again, these are knives that arguably do the exact same thing the cheap knives do, right? Cut stuff, like that's what all knives do. I am a firm believer on rewarding people's skills and art and their their you know their imagination and the things they come up with. So I've bought things in the past where they were very expensive if you just think about them being a knife versus you know being kind of something to admire, something to appreciate. And me as a as a knife maker and not that I make knives for a living, but I've made, I don't know, 12, 13 knives or whatever in my life but as a hobby, not for sale or anything, for gifts mainly. Um, I really appreciate the work that it takes to make a knife. So, having said that, here's the first one I want to show you. This thing is badass. Look at this thing. This is a Curtis Customs BMF, and you probably know what BMF stands for, and this thing is sick, it is awesome. Now, a lot of these expensive knives are kind of like a limited edition, one you know type of opportunity to buy it. I actually own some knives that are like one of one, that they just made one, and I should probably make another video with my collection of like one of one knives that nobody else has. Uh, without counting the ones I've made, because obviously all of those are one of one, but just the other ones that I bought from other people that other people made that wasn't for me, 
uh, that I own one of one. So I might make that video in the future. Just comment below if you want to see that. But anyway, this thing is a Curtis Custom. It's made by a knife maker named David Curtis. And this thing is super badass. Um, so I carry this one a lot, actually, uh, especially when I travel. If I, you know, if I go to things like Blade Show, which is a conference about knives, I typically wear something like this because I think other knife makers would appreciate that. So this one, I don't know if it's available for sale. I think I found one uh, listed online for $900. So $895 bucks for the Curtis Custom. And believe it or not, this is the lowest priced one that I have to show you today in the expensive category. So is that expensive? $900 for a knife? Or do you look at that as like a work of art, right? Um, to, to admire. Now, granted, I have this knife. I carry it. I open stuff with it. If you look at the blade closely, it's used. I don't baby any of my knives. The next one I want to show you is uh, this one. Is, this one was probably my, my first like big knife purchase because I appreciated the craftsmanship on it. This is a, and this is a mouthful, Microtech Combat Trudon Carbon Fiber Damascus Blade and Titanium Knife. These were very, very small uh, batch that they were made by uh, Tony Marfioni is the name of the, of the maker, very respected maker in the industry. And uh, this is uh, number 41 that he made. I don't know how many of these were made, if they were 100 or 50 or whatever, but this is 41. And... This thing is amazing. Look at this thing. Uh, let me get it closer because look at that. Just total Damascus steel blade with the carbon fiber. Now, when I got this thing, I started carrying it immediately. I, again, I don't have a, like a display that you can visit and let me look at my knives or whatever. I carry this thing everywhere. It's actually uh, nicked. I noticed when I picked it up today how it's all like scratched up and I'm like, oh, well, that affects the value of the knife. Not that I'm planning to sell it. But anyway, you see the signature right here in the back by Marfion. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Fun fact, the same maker that makes my beer cum, which we reviewed in the past, uh, but anyway, this is um, Tony Marfioni's Combat Trudon uh, custom knife. It's epic. But funny enough, when I got this knife, the back of the knife, this thing right here, which right now has like a glass breaker. Let's see if I can get it close to you. I'm always struggling. I know people leaving comments like a lot of the videos just figuring out how Gus doesn't get anything. In. Okay. So anyway, this thing right here is a glass breaker, but it actually came with this thing, which I've never seen in a knife. I, by the way, I keep all my boxes. I, am I the only one that keeps boxes when they buy stuff? I don't know. I bought this knife in 2022. I still have the box. It came with this thing instead. All right. This was on the back of the knife. So it was installed right here. Okay, and it's actually called the DNA sampler because it's super sharp. And every time I carry this thing in a pocket, I ended up stabbing myself. So I sent the knife back to Microtech and said, guys, give me like a regular thing because I don't want to keep stabbing myself. So I actually saved this one in the box. This one, the price on this one, you can't find it anymore. It's not, a, it's not up for sale, but I did find one that was similar. It doesn't have the DNA sampler. It just comes with a regular one. They probably removed it and kept it because it's so odd to find one. And it was listed for $1,400. $1,409 is the price that I saw today on this one. So a $1,400 knife, is it worth it? I, you know, you be the judge. I thought it was amazing and um, I had to have it. And I carry this thing, automatic knife. A lot, actually. So, I love it. Last but not least, this thing is amazing as well. This is a Asheville Steel Crazer Custom Titanium Damascus Knife. Look at the craftsmanship on this blade. It's insane. Okay? The whole thing is titanium, anodized, the clip... Everything is just epic. The mechanism to open it, the satisfaction on that sound, this thing is amazing. Now, I won't say how much I paid for this. 
Um, I got a pretty good deal on this knife and I don't want to, you know, annoy the makers by revealing uh, what it is. But if you want to buy this one, there's only one available on their website and is available for $1,600. Is the most expensive knife that I have, pocket knife that I have, and is $1,600. Now, comment below. Would you pay $1,600 for a pocket knife? Is it just a pocket knife? It's the same discussion that I always have with people. It's like, why would you pay for a watch? It makes no sense. You can see the time on your phone. But having an expensive watch is not about telling time. That's not the only thing about it. To me, having an expensive watch tells me how valuable my time is. It's not so much about just telling the time. So that's how I see it, and that's how I see these knives. They're amazing. By the way, let's just do a pocket check. Today I'm carrying a Nicholas Nichols Dreadnought. This thing is awesome. Look at that shape. This has nothing to do with expensive versus cheap. This is just what I'm carrying today. And uh, this is about 500 bucks, $500 knife. So it's kind of in the middle of the pack, expensive knife, but super awesome. Nicholas Nichols, he makes amazing knives. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Do you go for cheap knives? Will you invest, not really invest, but will you pay for the art and the craftsmanship and support these small businesses, small knives make, knife makers, a lot of them veterans, by the way. It's up to you. Leave it in the comments below. What do you want me to talk about in the next video? I'm going to leave a link to the last knife video I made right here. Go check it out, and we'll see you in the next one.